I'm standing outside the beautiful Rosary Basilica in Lourdes. This was the basilica that was finished at the end of the 19th century, dedicated at the beginning of the 20th century. Inside are beautiful mosaics of the glorious, joyful, and the sorrowful mysteries. And outside, now on the facade, have been added the luminous mysteries, beautiful uh, modern mosaics by the uh, Jesuit artist uh, Marko Rupnik from Slovenia. Inside, over the main altar, there's a beautiful image of Our Lady smiling and welcoming us, and it says in Latin, through Mary to Jesus. Uh, again, the beautiful connection between Jesus and Mary in these basilicas and in these Marian shrines. Our Lady is always trying to draw us as a mother to listen to her son, to open our hearts to her son. The other thing that's very important is the rosary, the mysteries of the rosary that are to be contemplated and meditated here each evening on the piazza right in front of me. There is a beautiful rosary procession that it comes to a, a conclusion right here in front of the Rosary Basilica. And the apparitions of Our Lady with St. Bernadette sometimes uh, went on for, for quite a long time because Our Lady was praying the rosary along with Bernadette, allowing Bernadette to pray the rosary, and Our Lady was going through the beads with uh, Bernadette. So the rosary is such an important prayer. We meditate on the mysteries. Uh, many of them are connected with the life of Jesus, so again, it's a way of Mary drawing us to Jesus. The rosary is such a powerful prayer of intercession. We have heard at Fatima and at Lourdes that uh, conversions can come through, through um, the rosary. Wars can be stopped through the rosary. Many things can happen if we become part of Mary's army and we intercede for the world with that powerful prayer of the rosary. So if you can, pray the rosary every day. Be united with Mary, be united with Jesus, and open your heart to the graces that the Lord wishes to pour out on the world through the Holy Rosary.